All right, this is an update to my previous car install. So I've got two radios coming in here, and if I had planned it out better, I could have tapped in and had one source, but this is the power to one source, and I've got two radios, and I put, this is the ground right here. I put everything in these, what is it, corrugated tubing or something. Someone suggested that, and I realized, yeah, I better do that. So I don't do this every day, guys, but I'm still showing you what I'm doing. So I put both of these, and I tied them a lot nicer than they were. I had a, a lot of extra slack down there, which I'm not sure what to do with that. Then I ran it through the firewall. This time it went a lot faster. What I did was I took one of my antennas, kind of a steel rod, and I taped it, and I just shoved it right through, and it went through pretty quick. Then I pulled it out the other end. I, I put uh, tape around it so it wouldn't catch the, the, the knob end. Anyway, this looks a lot better. It's not touching anything hot. I've got it all tied down. Much better than it was. Okay, so I actually ordered an NMR mount antenna. So I'm thinking about drilling a hole and mounting a permanent antenna right here. For now, I'm using this. This for my radio, my two meter, 70 centimeter radio. I'm using that temporarily, crushing it in the door, which is not a good idea. This glass mount is for my GMRS. So I'm gonna upgrade and get rid of this. I don't like this issue right here. So I'm doing, gonna do the NMR and later when it, when it comes, when it arrives. Now I was saying that my car is starting to look, it looks starting to kind of look like either a police car or the DeLorean. If we come in here, I got these screw ties and I'll put a link in the description. So if I need, could screw, I would screw these in along the sides. And that's why I'm saying it looks like the DeLorean, the flux capacitors in the back. And then I also got these, those little mounts. They tape down to hard surfaces and they work really well. These things are amazing. They are these little sticky pads and they stick really well. And then you run a zip tie through them and they will zip tie anything down. So any hard surface you can put these these things on and they, they work really, really well. I think 3M makes them. So what I've got, I've got GMR, Western Central. GMRS up here. This is a 50 watt GMRS radio. I'm going to my glass mount antenna back there. Not the prettiest thing in the world, I know, but it's an old car, I don't care. Okay, this is my QYT two meter, 70 centimeter repeater type radio. So this is gonna hit my repeaters and I'll, I'll try to hit one here in a minute on my way out. So this car, I'm doing, I'm doing this mostly for storm chasing, but it was also a good project. And this is my antenna wire that I've got crushed in the door that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. And then, like I said, put the, the, the NMR mount right here and then somehow run a wire I hate running wires, but I don't have to have the wire antenna to this right here. Okay, that is a dual camera. It is. It takes video of the front and then the back. It's got a wide angle lens. I got that mostly for security. You know, like if someone, I almost got in an accident the other day and I, I didn't have it on. But what I did here was I installed this and it, ha it can handle more peripherals like like that camera right there. It can also charge my phone. It's got USB. I, I screwed this into the side. There's a mounting bracket right here. I screwed that into the side and I taped everything up as nice as I could. You know, it's not professional or anything. I'm not going through the dash, but for the most part, everything's out of the way. It's, it's kind of like you're not gonna get tripped up over it. Anyway, let's, let's go try this radio out. I've got to run an errand. Let's see if it works. All right, now the repeater that I've talked to people on is K5EOK out of Edmond, Oklahoma. Every now and then I accidentally say Missouri because I still think I'm in Missouri. Been here about six months. Might be a little hard for me to record and talk and drive at the same time, but we will give it a try. I'm gonna throw out my call sign and let's get going. Now before, before I try to hit that repeater, would you believe we have thunderstorms coming tonight in the end of January? They said that the storms start pretty early here, and I know it's still not storm season, but uh, something's coming up from southern Oklahoma and northern Texas, and there's there's a slight chance of tornadoes down there. There's There was a 2% chance, but I decided not to head down for that little chance. 
and but you can see the clouds are kind of strange looking there's lots of striations in the clouds and we're definitely getting thunderstorms tonight at about 11 or okay i decided to stop to do this so i'm not driving and trying to film at the same time n9yo tom listening and monitoring on this repeater is the k5 e o k repeater I've hit this repeater twice and both times someone came back to me of course that was a weekday and that's okay if no one's coming back I'm definitely hitting it and I had that same this same radio and I had the that glass mount antenna back there and it was doing fine but I, I was gonna try to upgrade and do a do the NMR mount and I was thinking this is hollow right here I think this is hollow I think if I could drill a circle here and then a hole in the top when I know how big it needs to be and scratch off the surface I can put that antenna up here but let's hit it one more time N9YO Tom listening monitoring this repeater all right so guys there it is I hit the repeater but nobody's on I was actually surprised that anybody was on last time but there it is N9YO, this is N5JST. N5JST. Well, someone came back. Hey there, N5JST. This is Tom, November 9 Yankee Oscar. And what I'm doing right now is testing a repeater. I installed this little tiny radio and I, I had to reconfigure everything so I just laid some wire and I have a mag mount antenna that I put on and I'm making a YouTube video right now testing and seeing if it works by the way I'm on the east side of Arcadia Lake right now the name here is Tom yeah good evening Tom uh, hey on here is Dane Delta Alpha November Echo and uh, whatever you did is doing a great job uh, the uh, repeater here is uh, is full scale and you're uh, you're a full quieting of course and uh, audio and everything is uh, is very good fidelity tom i'm just sitting here uh fooling around with a little jsa call and uh, heard your signal thanks uh dane i think it is uh thanks for coming back to me i'm kind of new to the area i've been here about six months moved from st charles missouri area I make YouTube videos, and I hope you don't mind being on YouTube. I'll send it to you if you want, if I can remember your call sign. I'm really bad at remembering call signs, but the next step I'm going to do in my car, I've never done the car audio thing. I had such a problem trying to get through the firewall, and I finally found a way through it, and now I'm, I'm hooking everything up. So I've got a GMRS radio here. This is a little tiny Chinese cheap QYT radio, and it sounds like it's working, and I'm happy about that. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Tom. Uh, I've sure watched a lot, uh, enough of them on, on the uh, YouTube video side, so uh, um, don't mind at all. Uh, it's uh, November 5, Juliet Sierra Tango, N5JST. And, uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, um, uh, actually, I did a very similar thing. Uh, I was going on vacation, and... Uh, um, bought one of the uh, low-end uh, mobile uh, radios, uh, the Chinese radios, might even be the same one uh, you're talking about there, and uh, put it in the uh, mobile, took it to Colorado, and uh, uh, it's been uh, performing well for me, over. That, that sounds great. I always wondered, how do you solve the problem of repeaters, you know, changing while you're traveling? That's always been kind of a issue for me yeah you can put them in but it's kind of a pain unless you know where you're going and then then now that i've mounted it in the car you have to have a laptop to bring it back out to the car and i use chirp of course but i'm glad it's working out for you i think this one is going to work out too and uh so my my youtube channel is called ham radio cq and i'll probably have this video on tonight or tomorrow and pretty much it's a car install and it's not pretty but it's working that's that's the important thing it's not blowing up and it's working <laughs> name here is tom n9 yo okay tom very good yeah that's uh 
That's what I had planned is to, uh, I had the laptop in the car anyway, and so when the XYL was driving, I was going to going to have several areas uh, of uh, using Chirp and have several files saved of, uh, of repeaters in that area, but quite honestly, uh, it didn't, uh, I didn't, didn't work out doing that part of it. I was, uh, ended up kind of busy with, uh, with uh, my son and my wife in the car and we got to talking and I never did uh, reload the uh, reload the, the repeaters based on the uh, area but uh, yeah without chirp that uh, that radio would have been a real pain in the rear to uh, program in all the repeaters and offsets yeah that chirp that chirp project is amazing the fact that it's free and it has pretty much every radio i've ever seen even these little weird chinese radios which i'm glad they're cheap anyway uh i'm gonna say thanks i'm gonna head out and i'm going to the grocery store real quick before it rains i think there's supposed to be storms here a lot of what i'm doing right now is i'm getting my car ready for a little storm chasing and i have a gmrs radio as well i've heard that the storm chasers talk on gmrs so i'm hoping that works out Anyway, this will be my final. I'm going to head out, and I can't film and drive at the same time. Nice meeting you, Dane. This is N9YO. I'll be talking to you later. Okay, Tom. Very good. No problem. Yeah, be careful. Don't, uh, don't try to do two things, two more, uh, too many things at once. <laughs> 73s, N5JST clear. Now, that's awesome. That's a repeat. Hey, guys, that's a repeater that is active. And people monitor it, and I'm going to start doing that too. Whoa! I mean, I just somebody else is on there, but I'm not going to drive and film. I'm not going to drive and film. What's up, Clay? In five JST. We'll just listen to these guys. Not much. Just running errands. Down in Edmond, uh, doing picking up a little bit of stuff at Home Depot. Heading back to the house to nail stuff together, make noise, and cook dinner. Well, that kind of sounds like a lot of work on the weekend there, Clay, but, uh, you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, I'm uh, kind of playing with JSA Carl here and uh, writing myself a little program on the side. I'm trying to teach myself Python, so I thought I'd... Uh, write a little program to uh, read my JSA call log and uh, submit a query to QRZ on the, the station chart. Okay. Well, I imagine you're doing that because you want to do that. Uh, <laughs> my uh, software I use uh, makes the whole Look up logging and, and that pretty easy, even even with um, W uh, what is it WSJTX. Um, I'm doing FT8, finish up a QSO, then the little window says, "Do you want to log this?" Yes, I do. And from there it goes everywhere. So one click of the button and everybody's happy. Especially me, because it's one click of the button. Working, working very well. Magnet mount antenna, cheap radio, and a lot of wires. Thanks for joining me. More to come. Did you go away or uh, did I not translate? Well, no, I got you. I'm sorry. I had the the key down and was talking, but apparently, uh, apparently missed a missed a bit somewhere. Uh, Clay, no, I was saying very good on all that, and uh, I am. Uh, I'm learning Python just just for the heck of it. So uh, glad you got yours all uh, all working automatically for you. And uh, I'm an old programmer, and uh, 
I found Python was supposed to be a uh, um, most popular language in 2021, so I thought maybe you can teach an old dog new tricks. I understand. Well, I finished uh, or started my programming day and ended my programming day at CPM. <laughs> it was enough to get college credit. That was about it. <laughs> I went through uh, Fortran, Pascal, C, COBOL, you name it. Program earlier in my career, and then, you know how it goes, ended up uh, managing a bunch of programmers. Yeah, yeah, I know a little Visual Basic too, which when I was in the Air Force, sort of kind of just annoyed the programmers. But, um, it's kind of ironic. I'm a programmer too. Yeah, I would constantly have and I, did, I should jump in there, but that's all right. Thing. You know, that's what we, we get paid for. And I go, yeah. But by the time you get it through all of your processes, I haven't written. Well, that's exactly right. You know, the all the processes that they go through now, and, uh, you know, the programmer used to do it all, and now they got project managers, and, oh gosh, you name it, it it's frustrating. I said, hey, I could do this in my garage in, in two days, but uh, that'll take six months. That's exactly it. And you all must. All right, guys, that's cool. Now I'm going to say goodbye. I'm about to get gas, go to the grocery store and stuff. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the other side.